Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is the second to last day of May, which is actually really insane because I made it even happen. We're here, it's June, it's the summer, my nails are bright pink, I kinda look a little tan. We're doing it, it's summer. I thought I would do my plan with me for June as I do each month. Usually I have a nice coffee and I'm like walking in and I'm like, we're doing it, but I'm out of creamer. I'm obsessed with the Trader Joe's brown sugar creamer right now. And it's literally like, I want it every day. Like I don't even wanna go out and get coffee. I wanna make my own coffee to use that creamer. I am obsessed with it. I ran out, I had some just plain oat milk. So I was like, all right, I'll just put some oat milk in my coffee. And it was all chunky, which I'm really confused about because I only got it like five days ago. So I'm gonna film this video and then go out and either get creamer or get a coffee. So no coffee, but I do have this delicious breakfast sandwich that I made all myself. Look at that. It's completely vegan. It's an English muffin with just egg, which I recently tried. I love it. It's like a vegan egg substitute. And then it's vegan Gouda and sauteed mushrooms. It's inspired by a sandwich that I got when I went to Boston two weeks ago. I got this delicious sandwich. I was obsessed with it. So I keep trying to recreate it. Anyways, so that's a little intro. I hope you're doing great. If you're new here, my name's Alexis. I'm 24. I live in Manhattan. I live in a studio apartment. I work from home Monday to Friday, nine to five, but I'm also an actor, dancer, performer. So if this is your first time watching a plan with me video with me, I use Notion. It's like an online planner and journal of sorts. There's a lot of templates you can choose from, or you can make your own and you can kind of customize this to be whatever you want it to be. So I've been using it since last September, I think. And it has definitely grown since I've started. I have a lot of tabs now and I've definitely made my own templates, but I've also pulled from other people's templates. If I have pulled from anyone's, I'll mention it through the video and I'll link them below if you want to use their template. Full disclosure, I feel like I said this last month with April too, but May was kind of a weird month for me. I feel like I didn't get that much done. I got COVID in April toward the end of the month and it took me like three weeks, even after I like fully recovered and I was still going places, it took me like three weeks to like recover just like socially and in my apartment, my apartment was a mess for weeks because I was like so all over the place. It kind of just knocked me down. It was the first time I had ever gotten it. I'm just gonna wait for that to pass. I guess I'll eat a bite of my sandwich. I don't really know when I was planning on eating that since I started filming. Okay, welcome to my Notion. Here is my homepage. As I say each month, my banner right here is my year long vision board. Last video, we did make a summer vision board, which was a lot of fun. There's a lot of emojis in Notion. You use them for like each page kind of to identify each one. So I like to change the homepage emoji. This was May, June, honestly, I feel like we need just a sun. So weekly agenda it is currently May 30th while I'm filming this. It's Memorial Day and the week goes until June 5th. On this page, I like to set goals for this month and then I kind of go through each day. I don't use this page that much. Um, I mostly live in my Google Calendar for day-to-day -day things. I'm thinking this might be the last month I'm gonna use this homepage and we're going to need to find a new template or design one ourselves for July moving forward. That's gonna be a little more functional for me because this honestly does not work the best for me. It's like good enough. So goals for this month, I am going to say go live with my blog. You know, my blog journey. I've been on it since like last October. Consistently take dance class. Also, these are just kind of general goals. We have an actual monthly goals page where I'll set very specific ones, but this is just general goals, which I guess go live with my blog is a little specific, but it's fine. We'll leave it there. Go outside every day and keep my room clean because that was a struggle last month. When my anxiety gets really bad, which is like 24 seven, my room gets really bad. So my room is always a reflection of like my mental state. So I think someone commented on my last video being like, why is your room always a mess? Can't you make your bed? Which I do make my bed every day. The reason my room is always messy is terrible anxiety. Okay, <laughs> get it done. Things that need to be done this week. I need to buy a blogging course. There's one I have my eye on and I think it's gonna be worth it to just spend some money to buy a course. I need to finish buying Jonah's birthday presents. Jonah's birthday is on Saturday. I'll also get it done this week. I'm gonna throw in film the rest of Friday's video. I have a video coming out Friday that I literally started filming in March, end of March, beginning of April. 
and it's it's taken a while. Memorial Day is today. My personal training tomorrow. I'm gonna say Jonah's birthday. Got therapy. Here's my homepage. I can reflect at the end of the week if I want. Probably not gonna. I can archive it if I want. Probably not gonna. All right, let's go to the next. So this is my daily to-do page. And for my daily to-do, this is just where I open up my laptop and make a list of things I need to do every day. This I added maybe two or three months ago. It's been very helpful because I like to be able to check off what I'm doing. So today, let's just make a little to-do list. Clean my room, which today is Memorial Day, so I don't have work. So I just kind of got up and I cleaned a little bit, put away some clothes. I did laundry this weekend, film this video. I need to go grocery shopping. Gotta get my groceries. Um, go to the camera store. I have to get a roll of film developed. And then I'm going to go to the park with my friends this afternoon. Probably need to edit this video at some point too since I'm planning on posting it tomorrow, but we'll get there. Next, we have my calendar. Gonna be honest, we're just gonna skip this. I'm probably gonna delete it off my Notion. I don't use it. I use my Google Calendar religiously these days. I love using my Google Calendar. I I just have no need for it. I can sync my Google Calendar in my Notion, but I don't really feel a need to do that. Next, we have monthly goals. Um, these were last month's goals. I did not read my two books. Everyone gave me amazing book recommendations and I bought a ton of books and I am in the middle of reading Atomic Habits. I love it right now. And that's honestly a win for me. I did not finish the two books though, mostly because I didn't even buy the books until like the third week of May. But I did go on a walk every day. I took at least one dance class a week. I did not wake up at 7 a.m. every day, but let's let's do some new goals. Oh, I'm gonna say publish my blog, even though that was the first goal last month, but we're in the zone this month. Um, second goal, find a voice teacher. You know, I say this all the time, but I actually need to find a voice teacher. I'm gonna say wake up earlier. I think giving myself a time, like, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna wake up at six in the morning. I'm gonna wake up at seven in the morning, but I think I need to inch toward it. And I think the book Atomic Habits is kind of going to help me do that. But I wanna wake up earlier, but I can't go crazy at first. Like if I usually wake up at 7.45 or eight, I need to start trying to wake up at 7.15. You know, like I just need to do that kind of thing. So we're gonna try to wake up earlier, read two books. This includes finishing my one book and then starting another. Take three new dance classes. I've been dancing a lot lately. I'm kind of going through a crisis because I've been working this job for two years online and I like my YouTube channel a lot too and I've been trying to make a career out of this but I kind of have been spiraling because like my dream was to be a performer and do theater and I majored in it and I was literally doing it until the pandemic happened and now I'm feeling like this sense of like that literally is what completes like my life. I know it sounds so stupid but it is like what I am meant to do and I need to do it. So. I'm really trying to get back into it. I'm taking a lot of dance classes. I need to find a voice teacher. I should probably take some acting classes, but I am like all in with that. And I'm really hoping that I can get back into working in the theater world very soon. Let's go to my content calendar. I really had everything planned so well, so well for the month of May, but I was just struggling to edit. I missed two uploads last month, which that's the first time I've done that probably since February, maybe I did it once in like March or something, but I usually try never to miss anything. So I did not post on Friday, did not post this. So we are going to just move this down here, move this down here. In the summer too, it's hard because usually like on the weekend or weeknights when I have nothing to do, I'm just sitting in my apartment and I'm like, okay, let's work on my YouTube or let's work on this or that. But in the summer, I'm like, oh, well, I'm gonna go lay in the park with my friends and I'm gonna do this. And I think I just need to find a good work balance because the fact that I'm already working a nine to five job, when I have the, that free time, I'm like, I do wanna lay in the park and do nothing. But I have like 10 other things I need to do, like take dance classes and work on my YouTube. Budget tracker. I never use this. I'm gonna be honest. I literally never use this. Um, I should really try to use this this month. I did it for October and November. I filled out my whole expenses and I saw like how much I made, how much I spent. And that honestly was very helpful. Maybe I'll look for a better template for this, but this is my template. I took it from a different girl's um, Notion. She has like a full Notion, but I just took this template and the 2022 goals template. I, I'll have it linked below, I think. Goals, so I have a lot of long-term goals. And we're moving one over. Sign up for therapy, done. I've had three therapy sessions. I'm loving it. I'm using BetterHelp. I was sponsored by them a few videos ago, but I genuinely believe in them and I've been loving my therapy. It's such an accessible way to do therapy, especially like I get so much anxiety going places, like especially like going to a waiting room 
and like waiting for my therapist and all of that. So I've really been loving it. This is not an ad at all. They're not sponsoring this video, but I do really like them. If you're interested in them, go check them out. Next to my YouTube, this used to be my favorite part and I would say that every time, like, ooh, let's see my analytics, let's see what I did, but I know this is probably gonna make me a little bit sad. Let's see what's going on. See, my growth was very, very intense in the month of February. I gained like 4,000 subscribers and my watch hours were off the chart. I think that month I made $1,500 just from AdSense. It was crazy, like I made a crazy amount of money like my channel was going crazy. All of my videos had over 10,000 views. Like it was just like this huge period of growth for me. And it was because of my apartment series too. So if that's how you found me, it's probably because the algorithm was pushing me out like crazy. And so now that I've settled into my apartment, I'm growing so much slower because my content has shifted naturally from moving in New York to lifestyle and plan with me and fashion videos. And every time I do post an apartment centered video, it does get more views because that's probably why a lot of people subscribe to me. Um, but I've been kind of struggling with that. And I think that's why I didn't post twice this month. I was just feeling a little discouraged by it. On the flip side of that, it's like I have this great community now that if you're watching this, you may be a part of. I have people who regularly comment on my videos and I know who they are and I respond to them. And like, that's really nice because I have this base of people that I know are always going to watch my videos and I know that I can always talk with and they can talk with me. And that's really nice. I'm really happy that out of this huge period of growth, I gained a community because I know some people will go super viral and blow up, but then after it's all over, it's like you don't have a community to talk with. So I'm glad I have that. So I have 8,153 subscribers. So I gained about 120 subscribers this month. It's just crazy from this February to March here. I gained like almost 5,000. It's just, it's feeling like I'm going backwards, but in reality, that's just like part of the journey. Like you're not just gonna keep going up. You're gonna ebb and flow with it. So I am grateful for that. That's still 125 people. Like a room of 125 people is like a good amount of people. I'm at 55,813 watch hours. I'll just do 55,800. Um, so that's still, I gained 4,800 watch hours, which to put that in perspective, it took me a year and four months to gain 4,000 to be monetized. So also still good. And I have 534,000 views total lifetime on my channel. So I've gained about 40,000 views in the last month. Wait, that seems like a lot actually. Let's see what my goals were. I was actually pretty close to the 550,000. I was only 20,000 views away. I guess that's still kind of a lot of views, but um, so I didn't meet either of these. Let's duplicate this page. Honestly, 8,750 subscribers. Let's keep it, let's bring it down. Let's do 8,500 because that's still a good amount of subscribers to gain. And then for goals, let's do 565,000 views. All right, affiliate info is just information for me, for my accounts. Um, 2022 goals, we go over this every single time, but it's just my general goals. I took this from a template, but then I replaced the pictures with other ones that I found and I added a few goals of my own, but we're definitely doing it. Like signing up for therapy, we did that. We're working out at least three times a week, we're doing that. We go outside. And by we, I mean me. I don't know why I keep saying we. I feel like just because I bring you along with me so much, we're doing it together. Apartment. This is just like things I still need for my apartment. I covered my TV. Can check that off. Um, and I got a coffee table. Dance class is just where I track what dance classes I go to, where they are, how I felt about it. Sometimes I notate the dances. Blog. This is where I can do blog ideas. I have not done anything in here yet, but I'm definitely going to use this once my blog is live. We have my summer vision board, which I made last time. So here it is. Hopefully all of this happens, especially me bathing in a pool of money. Um, and then book recs. When you guys recommended books to me, I still need to add a few from more recent comments that I got, but I every single time you recommend a book to me, I just add it in this list. So that is everything. Um, this is just a quick little June plan with me. I always am curious if I shouldn't make these videos or if I should. I never know if people like them, but it seems as if everyone enjoys them. So I'll definitely keep making them. Um, I'm excited for June. I'm excited to like get my head in the game, get focused and just to like have a good summer. I know there's a lot of things going on in the world. I've been very, very anxious recently, but I'm trying to control my thoughts instead of letting my thoughts control me. 
which is something my therapist keeps telling me to work on. I hope that this maybe helped you plan your month of June. I hope that you have a great month. I hope that you get your goals accomplished. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.